salute, salute. Now, Deion Sanders Jr. responds to, um, well, you guys seen Kyrie Mans. This young man had a lot of great things to say about the Colorado Buffs. You guys know he moved on from Coach Prime to the Colorado Buffs and went to James Madison. And at the end of the day, he still kept his rapport with guys like Deion Sanders Jr., a.k.a. Bucky from Well Off Media. I'm going to give you guys that here in a second. Now, first and foremost, if you guys are new to the channel, everybody get on right now and hit that like button. If you guys are excited for Colorado Buffs this season, if you guys want to see Kyrie Mann do some great things this season, Kyrie Mann, I'm sorry, do some great things this season, you hit that like button, subscribe right now, turn that post notification bell on to all. We're going to jump right into this clip right here of Kyrie Mann and what he had to say. And I'm going to give you guys something that Bucky had to say, follow about, no, follow about what Bucky had to say in that regard. Like I'm describing, let's get into it. All right, talk about your Colorado experience. Um, there's different things out there, but how was your experience with, with uh, Coach Prime in his first year in Boulder? Oh, it was very cool. It was a, it was definitely an experience for sure. Um, we didn't see the highs. We didn't see the lows. We started off 3-0. and yeah. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like we didn't been at the top of the world. We didn't been at the bottom and everything. But it was a really cool experience. I feel like it set me up a lot to – to see what the professional uh the professional lifestyle is like and everything because there's just so many uh pros on staff or ex pros on mm -hmm. staff so that was a big reason about it uh that was the big thing it showed me um just how to be a professional honestly how how was he as a coach he was a very uh i think he was a very good coach um since i played d line it wasn't too much hands on right. but he would let us know like the back end needs us and we need the back end so we got to work together honestly but I think he was a really good coach. And you were in a little bit different spot than you'll be here, right? So, again, you mentioned that's kind of one of the biggest reasons that you were just looking for a different opportunity because they had you more in space, didn't they? Yeah, I was playing, like, inside, outside, backer, a little bit of everything, uh, like a big nickel roll. And I'm cool with that, but I just wanted to put myself in a, uh, the best position possible, and I like to pass right. Salute to that young man again. As you guys can see, that's the way you exit if you're a player that's leaving a coast like Coast Prime and the Colorado Buffs. You guys can see Deion Sanders Jr. followed it up by saying, be here, my brother, and then he put a number sign and put saucy. You guys can see this was after Kyrie Mans was thanking the person for having them on, um, in which way he was able to express certain things like you heard there, in particular when he talked about Coast Prime and the Colorado Buffs. Again, you guys can see that's what Deion Sanders had to Deion Sanders Jr. had to say. I don't know what you guys think in the comments section below. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think about Kyrie Mans, um, about him and his time in Colorado, and what you guys want from him in particular moving forward. Or what you guys hope to see from him, as well as Deion Sanders Jr. Uh, response to him as well. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much.